Dit is cool. Papa, dit. Okay, once again we're on holiday in the Netherlands. We're going thrifting, baby! My wife needs to solicit for another job, so I got the day off. The only caveat is I have three children with me, so this ain't gonna be easy. Uh, wish me luck. Let's first check out this glass case. Hopefully we can find something in there. Probably not. Hmm, nothing really here looks up to my alley. No vintage toys or video games. Shame. You don't see that in the thrift store anymore these days. iMac and a CRT TV. No way you see that in Belgium. Pretty cool electronics department. Funny, three times the same album. All three times signed by the band. So I'm gonna take one. It's supposed to be jazzy like Jandy or Reinhardt. We'll see. That's some seriously cool shit. A Sony camera from the local. Um, like video production house insane Very cool. oh my god is that the camel crew that i spot over there <gasps> another crt oh baby this is something else. Alrighty, so first drift tour during farmland in the Netherlands. Nothing cool gaming wise. They had some stuff, but nothing that rocked my boat. Some jazz records. This one's pretty cool. Probably uh, wasn't a big hit because they had like three copies and they were all three signed. So either a big fan must have lived there or a band member and they donated um, their vinyls. And it's titled after one of my favorite songs from Django Reinhardt, After You're Gone. So that's why I picked it up. Tribute to Tea Garden, classic jazz masters. Featuring the uh, trombone and vocal of Jack Tiergarten. And then this is another jazz record. This is Dutch one, so all Dutch members, but interesting to listen to it. I don't know, it's, these were all cheap, two, three euros. This one was expensive. New wave, uh, post-punk rock album. Uh, it's not in the best shape. Circle of Ice, Priests and Poets. But it's a good record, so I picked it up. That one was 10. So that's it. Catch you guys later. Maybe I'll do some more trip stores. I don't know. Do you know? No, you don't. Okay, some stores are really, really nice. We even had lunch in one. Check this picture. And other ones are just piles and piles of trash. Holy moly. I was a little bit overwhelmed in this one. This was just old mattresses, old um, washing machines. I had a lot of tapes and a lot of vinyl. You see a little clip at the end, but holy schmoly. A little bit too much, as you can see here. Totally overwhelmed. Hello fellas, let me do my pickups video out here in the wild in nature. Why am I not sitting in my car? Because my daughter is sleeping in my car. First I'll show you the vinyl. This is actually from the second store, but then I have it out of the way. Some vinyl, some thrift stores have the best vinyl, other really have crap, crap to the max. U, U2 War, not the cleanest or prettiest copy, but the vinyl actually is in pretty good shape. Four euros. 
Yazoo, uh, second or third album. I actually don't have this one yet. Well, you, you two are, I don't have either. Uh, I don't buy a vinyl to resell, but sometimes if, if I really love an album, I might buy a second copy of it. Also four euros, so that's a steal. This one was in the glass case and was very expensive. Uh, fat gadget, under the flag. They asked 25 for it. It's in excellent shape, but even that is super expensive because like on Discogs you can get it for 15, but then you have to of course pay shipping. So all in all, it was not a bad deal. And I never seen a fat gadget record in a thrift store. So not my favorite, but a nice album, uh, three euros, uh, Jackson band, beat crazy. Joe Jackson, of course, not Michael Jackson. And then two fusion jazz albums. I find these a lot in the Netherlands. I basically never find them in Belgium. And nobody, but actually nobody in the world wants these. So they're always for me. Barclay James Harvest, uh, Turn of the Tide. Actually don't know, know a lot about this one. And this one I do know, it's quite excellent. <laughs> If you like elevator music, it's quite excellent. Surprise, surprise with Maison Forte. Uh, a bit of scuff there, but for these two were 99 cents. So, I mean, what an excellent stack of vinyl. If that fat gadget w wasn't 25, that would have been a steal. And this is the best find ever. In the very first thrift store I entered, there were. Um, replenishing the toys um, like the board games and the puzzles and everything and I, sh I saw she said this one is empty and she tossed it aside and I was like a game and watch box I only have two other boxed ones I believe and it even it has the original battery packaging. The manual obviously never has been touched. It still has the um, like the, the stickers to lock your batteries. And it even comes with the, the plastic baggie, which you saw they folded it up back in the day. And this box was never touched again. I don't actually know. I might have Mario, but it might also be a Donkey Kong. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm definitely gonna be keeping a lookout for this game because holy moly, I have the box now and uh, it's actually in super shape. So I said to the lady, can you price it out? And she was like, mm, uh, it's empty. And she was like getting a little bit suspicious of me. So in the end, she just said, take it. Are you gonna buy something else? She said, I said, yes, I'll just take it. So I was like, woohoo. Free Game and Watch box. My sons bought some crap toys. Uh, there was a lot of cool stuff in that store, but nothing for me. Uh, except for, well, it's not actually for me because, as you know, I'm not really a Transformer collector. And this one is definitely very beat up, but it was only 25 cents. So for that, I couldn't leave it behind. Maybe somebody has use for the parts. I doubt it, but you never know. It has his, still his feet, but these side flaps are missing. Um, I don't know. Does he actually have a head? Where's your head at? Oh yeah, he still has a head. Ah, oh, you have to fold it out, I think. Well, I The only reason why I kind of dig these original Transformers is because they're actually made out of metal for the most part. And for some reason, I find that pretty cool. Oh, guys. Oh, it's like this, okay. What the f... This is why I hate Transformers. But uh, there's his head. His arms are, I think, incomplete. Well, I, I kind of know for sure. And he still has his feet, so he's still kind of poseable, I guess. Like, oh, la, la, la. Yeah. 25 cents. And then in the last store, ooh, baby, 
I once found this bike before, but it was missing a lot of parts. This one also has a lot of broken parts. These are not toys which were meant for time. Uh, as you can see, it breaks here. I think my previous one also had that broken. Um, and a part of the steering wheel. I think I tossed the parts to mine. I don't know. Maybe they're still in my basement in like a, a sparts bin, but I kind of here's a piece broken off. So yeah, these things are super fragile, but I can replace the troll here. This is from the troll fighters line. It's like a, a guy <laughs> on a bicycle shooting missiles. Troll warrior on a bicycle shooting missiles. All right. I don't know. It's a funny guy, but I love it. That's why it was 250. The last thrift store, it looked like it was a gold mine. It was like filled, jam packed with stuff, but I couldn't check the vinyls because there was already a guy flipping through and I, all my kids were crying or whatever. So I just uh, skipped the vinyls. There was like a big bin of tapes, but you could clearly see it, but been rifled through already. Found one CD, CDI, sorry sampler pack but none of my friends wanted it so i left everything there and i only picked out this one but it looked like it, it could have been a gold mine it's also one of those stores where the, the the lady behind the register just names a price you know so you never know if you're gonna pay five euros or 25 euros for something uh, she did check however the office kudos for that um, she did check the office um, if there were toys there uh, and um, like collector toys and um, video games so thanks you for that so I think this is the last uh, pickup from the Netherlands it's possible that I am able to go out another dime but I I'm not I'm not sure yet so maybe it's the end maybe it's not kudos from I believe Saland Gelderland the boonies in the Netherlands at least